Okay, so anyway, so yeah. So again, I came back to the game in 2017. I had started Quetch in 2010. And I, I was basically solo playing Dancer, occasionally getting parties. Um, and I got to like into the 60s. I got to like 68. And had to had to like stop playing again for like real life reasons. And then in 2017, when I came back to the game, my goal was to basically solo story and stuff with Dancer, which is for one reason, actually. And even in 2010, the main reason I chose Dancer is because I saw that it had run speed. I saw um, um, Chocobo Jig and remembered my days back in the 75 cap and how really running around was the bulk of your time. So I was like, okay, let me pick a job that has, let me pick this this new job that I, you know, that I had never gotten a chance to play that also happens to have a run speed buff. And uh, that was my that was my reason for choosing Dancer. And so 2017 comes around and so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do all my missions and stuff like that. I'm gonna work on Idris and um, you know, soloing to get the, the the stuff I need in order to upgrade the Empyrean head. The Empyrean head for me was my first like really big DPS upgrade. It's insane. It's the 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 the, the damage it adds to climactic flourish is just there's almost nothing like it in the game. Critical hit damage 25%. So um yeah. So here we go. Uh, I'm going to make it my first MP plus two upgrade item and just as like an homage. Plus, it's really good. Uh, yeah, let's just do it. I think I have to do this. Oh, it'll come back tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what you... I don't know what to recommend you make on Tay. Um... I guess one really good option is let me let me let me run through my head real quick what you have. You have rune, you have paladin. You have core. You have warrior. Yeah, I mean getting 5 seconds on on your rolls is probably not worth it. I mean not as your first upgrade, you know what I mean? But then again, like, you play core, you play, like, core and war more than anything else. Let me, let me see what the Paladin Head was. Converts percentage of physical damage taken to MP and DT minus 10. And fast cast 8. Yeah, I mean, that's a really good piece. Haste 7. Paladin's Feet. Uh, fast cast, Divine Emblem, Enmity. Yeah, I mean, this is a good piece, too. And I wouldn't blame you for making this first. Because I think they added the fast cast to this, didn't they? Yeah. So having your fast cast piece and your enmity piece is awesome because you can use this in your mid cast and get a little bit of extra um, recast reduction. You saw Red Mage Feet add a ton of minutes to haste. <laughs> Are we above 15? Because if it's not above 15, I don't care. <laughs> For me, my other options would have been the, uh, the head and the legs on Thief in order to get the... Oh, these are... In order to make that set, that white damage set, I'm really excited to try that one. Um, oh, also Tamoli, there's the uh, there's the Rune Fencer legs. If you're if you're looking to play more Rune, um, these are awesome. Extra Encortada, more DT, Enmity, real stats. So the combo of the thief head and legs. We looked at it the other day on stream, but I'm just going to pull it up again. Um, 
The head gets TA5 PDL7, which is really great for. He said 23. That's composure casting on yourself. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't. You, you don't get that, that kind of bonus. Uh, casting on another party member. But anyway, um, PDL, triple attack for white damage thief build, along with the pants, which are crit rate, DT, and the 2% chance of Augment's triple attack. So these will likely be the next thing I work on if I don't immediately get the Rune Fencer piece. The Rune Fencer, the Rune, the Rune Fencer, <laughs> the Rune Fencer legs. Yeah, I do really want these as well. Probably the Tierra, these legs, these two thief pieces, these are all my top, top, top pieces. Other than Warrior. I don't actually know which one I want first in the Warrior. The head, I don't super need. The body's really just for my Mythic. Maybe I make that one first for Warrior. STP 10, Great Axe, DT minus 13. That's way better than Tatanashi for a uh, Mythic Warrior. Thinking of doing blue first. Kagra got 8k points solo. Wouldn't mind a bit more DT and nuke sets. Blue Mage especially can probably do all the procs themselves, which means that they can... Um, uh, that means that they can fight the boss themselves, which means that you pretty much guarantee you pretty much guarantee about 4k a run if your blue is uh, well geared. Like, and I mean like baseline 4k. <sighs> and that involves nuking, so yeah. Um, yeah, Warrior is like 5th or 6th on my list. It's not as like crazy good as I wanted it to be. Yeah. Oh, I, I keep getting... I keep squirrel braining chat. So, the, the unique thing... Uh, we did last night in our run, aside from getting all the procs and, and double-checking some people's um, uh, info on the procs. Two, two things I can tell you we learned last night that people are saying in the forums or, or are unsure of on the forum is, uh, number one, the, the it was said to use blue for spectral flow or um, I forget what their, uh, what their earth spell is. You don't need blue mage spells in order to proc. It's just w blizzard damage or stone damage non-MB will proc. The second thing we found out that um, uh, people have said is there's this room where you all have to rest. People say rest on the raised platform. Um, either it's only one person has to do that or the platform doesn't matter. It's just the room. Because when we walked into that room, a couple of us rested immediately, and then Ari rested on the platform. And since and Ari was the last person uh, uh, to rest, and the, the chest spawned. So we're not sure if it was once all players have rested in that room, but it's definitely not all players resting on the platform. I know that much. Um, so anyway, we were just verifying some things, but the other thing we did, um, just spawned on you. It looked like it spawned in the middle of the platform. I, I guess I was too far away to see. So, um, the other thing we did is I brought my thief in with Su five dagger and mass pulled all the leeches and just alien edged them myself. Because Gandring feeds me TP whenever I dodge an attack. 
I did not have any evasion songs or anything like that. And the th the just my my like well geared ML thirty two thief um, was f floored uh, accuracy on the leeches or capped evasion. I guess is another way to say it. Um, so just to put that out there is, um, you know, if you've gotten all your procs done, uh, Thief Su-5 will probably, could, could potentially be, assuming, assuming Aeolian Edge is the way to go, I don't think there's a more efficient Aeolian Edge strat than Su-5 Thief. Um, simply because you don't even have to swing your dagger and you've already got a thousand TP. Um, just to put that out there, I did hear that Blue Mage damage falls off against certain mobs. Um, something to think about. Uh, and yes, Slow Melly, Sortie is in, in existence. Um, if you want to watch a run, you'd have to check my YouTube video because I don't have a KI right now. But here we go. I'm upgrading my first piece. And it just turned to Earth's Day. So let's get the Maculele Tierra plus two. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 3% more critical hit damage. 8% WSD. It's so strong. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, Yosh, the, the place that I saw, um, the only place that I witnessed Alien Edge to be bad in was, uh, Umbrals, which is a concern. But other than that, it did full damage to every other mob. Um, Wind Elementals is the only other place, but I, we, I noticed that during our run. That's the first piece. Now, like I said, we're going to move on to probably Rune Fencer for either the legs and... I want a two set bone. I, I, I want a two set bonus with either the head or the body, but I forget which one's better. Um, let's see. A B C D E Aralaz. Enhancing duration. Oh yeah, this is the one that gives you five percent more enhancing duration, and it adds the surd. But you're not gonna want to tank in that. And the body doesn't have any DT on it, right? Uh, yes, but this one converts physical damage taken to MP. I think I'll make this and uh, the legs next. So I can finally uh, take out some Nayame. Yeah, I think so too, Yush. Uh, especially if we can get the 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 group A or path A procs down really fast, um, and immediately get working on whatever the next set of procs are. <laughs> 